I'm going to go through today how to use Photoshop and use the multiply feature in layers to create a hand and map image together. So um, what you're going to need to do before we start is make sure that you've got a copy or a scanned in version of your photogram hand somewhere to your downloads or into your documents or your OneDrive and also a map of where your grandparents, great-grandparents, some ancestors came from. I've chosen a map uh, from online, a vintage map, they're good to search, um, of Port Phillip Bay, Melbourne area. Now I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do to get going is have Photoshop opened and I'm going to click open button. Now if your Photoshop doesn't look like this, just press command O which will do the same function. And in there, then that my current um, access in to my files is coming in through downloads but it might be in OneDrive or documents or wherever you put everything and mine are in downloads so I'm now going to search for the hand and open that. This file will open up and so you can see it here on screen and at the top along here is the name of the file and you can see it's a JPEG as well. Alright so now I'm going to open the other file that I want to combine with this. So I'm going to now just press Command-0 or Command-O actually, Command-O, not Command-0, that does something else. And where is that vintage map? Here we go. I open that. Alright, so now you can see up here I've got this file of the map and this file of the hand and I can just switch between all the files that I have at, in Photoshop which will be placed everywhere along here. All right, so I want to select this image and I want all of it and I'm going to paste it into the hand. So what I'm going to do is press Command A and that's now activated the area that I can do something with. From here you press Command C, Command Copy and then I go to the hand picture and now I'm going to press Command V, which is paste. And it's pasted it on top of the picture. Right, but as you can see, it's kind of a lot bigger than what this image over here is. So I'm going to have to scale this down. And to change the size, I need the t transform tool. And I'm going to press Command T, because T is for, or well, Command T is for transform. And as you can see, it's enormous and I'm going to actually hold down the my thumb on the keypad or the scroll pad and just slowly bring that so that it lines up with my other image. I reckon that might just about work the way it is. Now this time this selection here has a blue line for me with all these little squares at various points which is different to the way the selection worked here that's little white dots moving around that's a different kind of selection to the transform one. Oh, I've lost my thing okay I'll have to do it again okay let's just quickly get that back but what this tells you which is quite important is that once you're happy with your transform transforming of the image into the size that you like and I might just open that up a little bit more um, you need to press enter to make that box go away okay so now I have a picture of a map in front of me but believe it or not there's a picture of the hand underneath what we haven't got open um, on this screen here in Photoshop is the layers palette that show us that hand underneath. If yours is like mine, go up to window at the top, find layers underneath and now I can actually see all the bits that are in my file here. I'm going to turn the eyeball off and on for that top layer and that gives me an indication that it's sitting over there. Okay, I'm just going to drag this across a bit. All right, so in this layers palette, which you can see I'm switching between, when I click on this top one, there's a word normal here. And if I just mm -hmm. click on here and come down to multiply, 
where all the different options are for how you can actually see the image, I get a beautiful blend between the two images. You might get quite inspired to uh, use one of these other uh, filters, if you like, in terms of how you can combine layers. Um, but I, we are going with multiply today. Okay, now I'm just looking at this image on screen and thinking, oh, there's bits of map in the black area that I don't want. So I'm now going to press Command-0 to get that back to normal, maybe even Command-minus and get it a bit smaller again. So I want to try and increase the black in the background. The way I'm going to do that is click on background, double click the lock and click OK. That made the lock go away. And now I can use what is called levels. And levels will fix up the contrast on this layer only. So that's Command-L. Up comes this graph one of the most important graphs you can use in Photoshop. And what you want to look at is this triangle here on the left hand side. Is it actually underneath where the white starts to spike upwards? And no, it wasn't. So I want to drag that across. And I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but when that comes across here, it gets darker and the contrast has improved over here. Similarly, if this triangle here wasn't underneath a stack of white, I would quite possibly decide to move it and bring it across. Now, when I over exaggerate, you can see how that's actually changing the amount of contrast in the image. I'm kind of going, I might actually put it there anyway. Okay, click OK, and that's done. And that is how you combine two different separate images in Photoshop and have them combine and look fairly natural. Cheers.